back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. Man, it's starting to look like the UFC wants this is a beat Michael Med Sharapo versus Yair Rodriguez fight bad. They said, well, we want to put Zabi at UFC 227, but if Yair will only take the fight at an earlier date, let's get it. And if Yair don't want the fight at all, Zabi's just going to fight at UFC 227. Holy flying, flipping flapjacks. My my big thing about this, yo, this would be a fucking amazing fight. One for the ages, a bunch of ninja shit. You might see a Showtime Pettis kicking this joint. Well, in any of Zabi's fight, you might see some crazy ninja shit. But you pair him up against another ninja like Yair Rodriguez, and you got yourself a motherfucker entertaining battle i'm talking about cartwheel kicks mother all oh, type of crazy madness of uh, exciting array of striking like not a slug fest like a ninja fest if that makes sense i'm talking about all type of flips and yo these dudes are really exciting flashy strikers so to be paired against each other that would just make for a really fun fight but the thing is yair rodriguez got dogged out in his last fight by Frankie Edgar, right? Frankie Edgar, one of the best featherweights in the world for a long time, best featherweight wrestlers, they put him up against Yair Rodriguez to see, you know, Yair Rodriguez was getting quite a bit of a push. They put him up against Frankie Edgar, and that boy still ain't came back to the fight. I think Frankie might have fought twice since then, maybe three times. That boy Yair, boy, I don't know the last time he fought, I'm just telling you, it's been a while since Frankie Edgar dog walked him through the park. That shit was crazy, bro. His face was looking different. Like, it was just a whole different Yair. We still ain't seen him back. So that's what's concerning me about Zabit and the UFC. Well, not the UFC. I get the UFC. It makes sense. You got a new up-and-coming fucking stud. Let's just take all Yair's money. You know, not take all Yair's hype, but I'm saying if Zabit wins, it's like he's really the new guy in town in featherweight, the new prospect. All I'm going to say is keep Zabit away from Frankie if you don't want that Yair. You know what I'm saying? That might be the next fight you have to see. Like, okay, you beat Yair. But can you beat Frankie, though? That's like the ultimate test. Frankie don't fuck around, bro. But why I'm worried about this Zabit versus Yair push, because it's, there's, I'm telling you, bro. I, there was talks of, like, Zabit showed up at the Performance Institute and waited for four hours for Yair to show up, or two hours, or a, a long period of time just to try and book a fight with Yair. If Yair showed up, hey, what's up, Yair? You trying to fight? You know, try and build the fight. You just sell the fight to Yair. But Yair never showed up. And so it's starting to look like Yair doesn't want any part of this Zabit fight just from the media's perspective. Like Ariel Helwani, he, he released a tweet to, uh, today. He said, the UFC wants to book Zabit versus Yair at UFC 227. However, Rodriguez wants to fight earlier. I'm told if that fight doesn't eventually come to fruition, the current plan is still to feature Zabit at the Staples Center's next. So maybe if Zabit doesn't want to fight at UFC 227, he put they, they don't give him Zabit. But this would be a big opportunity for Yair, who was going against... Yair had a lot of hype behind him before the Frankie fight, but he lost to a dominant wrestler. That's not really what Zabit's going to come in here and try and do. Zabit's actually probably looking for a finish, as um, his last fight, they said he, or he said or his team said that he didn't get the finish because he broke his hand coming into the fight or he really injured his hand so a lot of that crazy ninja super fun fight versus Kyle Bokniak we saw in this Zabit fight he was doing with one hand so if that's the case this Zabit guy looks to be like the fucking real deal here's my thing though we haven't saw him tested against the best competition in the world. He's starting to be talked about like one of the best featherweights in the world. He's definitely one of the funnest featherweights in the world to watch. But the thing is, we got to be careful. That was the same case for Yair. You know what I'm saying? And when, when he fights a Frankie Yeager, maybe though he won't have to fight Frankie Yeager. You know, it could be like a Cody Garbrandt situation. Maybe he gets he knocks two dudes out and gets to a title fight. That could be the case for guys that have a lot of fanfare behind them. Really fun guys to watch. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, that could be the case for my boy Sean O'Malley. We saw it with Cody Garbrandt. The fans really got behind him. So after he knocked out Thomas Almeida, he knocked out Takiya Misugaki and immediately got the fight for the title shot. Maybe Zabit could knock out Yair, knock out one other guy or two other guys and fight for the title. Who knows? But I will say this. If this fight gets booked, we are in for a treat. This just on paper looks like one of the funnest fights the UFC can make, bro. I mean, we just saw how fun Zabit's last fight was, and that's what Yair brings when he's not getting dog walked by Frankie. It's just going to be an amazing fight. So I really love this idea by the UFC to book these guys. 
but the, all the pushback for this fight seems to be coming from Yair's side. So I don't want to see like the Zabit side keep like pressure in it. Like, yo, if Yair don't want any smoke, man, off of his head. You know, he's not, it's not like you're calling out one of the best fighters in the UFC. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I'm talking about Zabit, because Yair coming off of that performance, you know, I just don't want to see a guy I'm looking at. Like, I'm a big fan of Zabit right now, probably prisoner at the moment. I really came to know him from his last fight, that super fun Kyle Bokniak fight. But just for anybody to be like picking on Yair Rodriguez, it's starting to feel like he's kind of picking on Yair Rodriguez. And I'm like, why Yair? Why not anybody else? Maybe it's just because the fun style matchup, but I don't think these guys don't like each other. So I'm going to assume maybe the UFC just wants to see this super fun fight between Yair and Zabit. But it's just weird for me to see like a really high, highly touted prospect pick, not picking on, but you know, really calling out a guy that's coming off a pretty bad loss. Um, but with that being said, other than that, I think the fight would be a great fight. Yair's had time to recover, so we'll see what happens with Yair Rodriguez. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on this situation because I'm looking forward to see who's a beat fights next. I'm also looking forward to see when is Yair Rodriguez returning. I don't think he's some fucking scrub that will never fight in the UFC again just because Frankie did what he did. Come on, bro. You know, you're still a badass. You're still cold. Just matchups maybe a little more wisely. A little more strikers. Maybe he's just been working on that wrestling the entire time on some Cub Swanson shit. Cub Swanson said ever since the first time I lost to Frankie Yeager pretty badly, I started working on my takedown since ever since. And we saw in Cub Swanson the last, most recent fight versus Frankie. Frankie didn't get a lot of takedowns. Hey, you know what I'm saying? He only might have got one takedown, maybe two. He really had to res beat Cub Swanson with this striking. So I'll keep you guys updated as I said. With that being said, it is what it is. Let the full time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out. And as always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm out. This is number one bullshit.